So I've come over to the coast of Northumberland in North East England and uh, just a very quick weekend for me but I've come here because I'm part of the Landscape Photography on YouTube UK. That's the so, one. So this next to me here is John Haswell. He is the, uh, the administrator of the group and next to me is another YouTuber as well. Who is? Paul Thompson. So his name's Paul Thompson. He doesn't have a very big subscriber base at the moment. He's watching some of his stuff this morning. He's a really nice guy. So head over to Paul's channel and also John's and you'll see what it is that they're up to in, over here in the UK. So they're more UK based rather than me who's always traveling around. But uh, today basically what we've been doing is we started at Dunstanburg. So we go, went to the, uh, what do you call them? The Death, the death de Rocks. The Death Rocks. So we got, kind of got a shot there and then uh, had breakfast. And now we come the other side of Dunstanburg to a place called Craster. So now, uh, the tide's coming in, so we're going to have to actually move to the location we've been in, but uh, I'll flick up some of what it is that we've been doing. But uh, as I said, check out Paul, check out John, and uh, see what it is they're doing. And if you like them, obviously subscribe to their channels, and you know, hopefully uh, you'll get a bit more of Northumberland. So on to the next location, but it's lunch first. It's after lunch, we've come up to the sand dunes that are south of Bamburgh Castle and the sky has gone really overcast, really grey and the sky isn't really kind of interesting either. There's a bit of cloud up in the sky but it's not great. So I've got a bit of a, I suppose you could call it a recce picture for me and what I'm going to do is bank it and think I'll come back at another point and try and get this in decent light. For me, I'm looking at the image and thinking if I could get back here one time and get a really nice dawn image of this side of the castle, I'd be really happy. But uh, now I know I was, when I was talking to one of the other group participants that I'm with today, he was saying to me about what, when he first started, he'd love to have seen what it is that somebody like myself was would doing with a picture, whether focusing and all those kind of things. So for those people that are just starting out and they're interested, I'm just going to flip the camera around, show you my camera and show you what it is that I'm doing and, and my thought process on this particular image although it's not the best image it will still guide you through what it is that I'm doing. So this is how I've set up my camera to shoot Bamber Castle. Now what I was looking for in the sand dunes was this here so if I just zoom the camera down just a little bit up oh, wrong way you can see a bit of a path that's going in there so it will lead you in composition wise to the castle. Then we've got all the grass. Now what I wanted to do with the grass is slow it down. So today doesn't need a polarizer, but because I don't have a four stop ND, I've just put my polarizer on the front as it doesn't need the polarizer, and then a two stop ND. And then I've put a grad in. Now again, it doesn't need a grad with the lights, honestly. But what I'm doing with a grad is I'm just sort of adding in a bit of more darkness into the sky just to make it look maybe a little bit more forbidding. So. I've also got my tilt shift on there if I just swing the camera around just a little bit and I've also got the extender, the 1.4 extender. So when I'm setting up the tilt shift I make sure everything is levelled off here. For safety reasons I make sure my camera tripod, my main tripod is levelled as well and then there's the 24mm tilt shift. Now here I've dropped shift down here and I've added on a bit of front tilt. Looking at the back of the camera if I turn it on which you may be able to see if I uh, just swing this round. So if I do this, now what I did is I focused on the castle and then tilted down to bring everything in focus. So it may show up. So at the moment this is actually in black and white. And it's, uh, this is something typical that a lot of photographers, you'll see them do. They go, oh, it's a pretty kind of grey day. Let's just convert it to black and white. And it's kind of working at the moment. It's not great, but it's kind of working. But uh, it's certainly for me not a picture I would do much with at all. I know some people might like it, me personally not really but um, anyway so it's about uh, I think it's two and a half seconds f16 so now I don't need to stop it down that far with a tilt shift but I'm only stopping it down actually just to get some blur and there's a lot of wind moving the grass here. And as I said I've got the path there that's going up to the castle so that's actually in the middle of my composition down here and then it's going up. Um, 
and that's basically about the castle. It's not actually in the middle of the third, it's off the, the edge. So where the, the line is coming down, and then here, it's actually sat just there. So which may may not be able to see, I don't know if I can push that in. There, let's see if I can actually lighten it up. There you go. So this isn't the actual exposure I would use, but just to show you. So you can see there where the crosshairs are. It's not sat in the crosshair, but actually just off there. So that's pretty much how I set it up. It's a very grey day. You can see kind of what you're seeing with a GoPro is what I'm getting in camera. So, but that's why I added in the grad. So what I want to do is probably just take another picture. So put the exposure down to where I want it. So like say four seconds, check the histogram, see where that is. That should be roughly where I am. Just make sure it's all level. So I have timer, I haven't got my cable release in. And there you go, picture taken. So there's a few people on the beach over here, but uh, they're going to be small enough, probably blurred anyway. And that's the picture I've got here, Bamber Castle. So what we're going to do now, I don't know if I'm going to vlog or not. I don't know how much else I'm going to be able to vlog today. We're going the other side of the castle. And over here, there's a car park and you get like a nice uh, rock shaft looking back towards looking in the southerly direction. So that's what I'm going to do with the rest of the group. They've gone off. I'm going to go and get my car and then head off there. So there you go. For me, a recce shot. I'll probably come back and get this at some point, but it'll do. It's okay. It's not for me meant to be a, a really serious day doing landscape photography. It's actually been more meeting and greeting people and getting to know people and networking. And everybody I've met so far has been very, very nice. So. It's uh, certainly worth coming along and joining that landscape photography on YouTube UK Facebook group. It's the end of the day in Northumberland and uh, typical early March weather. It's now raining. But sat next to me, I've got another photographer from the group whose name is? Andy Gray. Andy Gray. So he's on Instagram, his speciality is ICM and uh, I know for a lot of people they're not necessarily maybe aware of it or it's not necessarily their cup of tea. I was looking at Andy's work earlier and um, I think it's actually really good. It's certainly the way he was explaining to me how he creates his images I actually think is quite interesting. So he was saying to me he will look at old paintings, old masters take inspiration from them take inspiration from them try and find where they may have sort of sort of stood to try and get those uh, those paintings and then he tries to recreate that in in his in his way of doing ICM so um, there you go it's always interesting when you meet other photographers and today with uh, the group on the landscape photography on YouTube 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 it's a mouthful, isn't it? UK group yeah it is a mouthful um, uh, you know, it's been very good meeting up with other, other photographers and certainly for me, living where I do in France, I'm very much out of the loop, but uh, it's been made to feel welcomed by everybody today and it's been a fantastic day actually, even though the weather's been good, we've all uh, had a great day I would it say. Been, it's uh, been good fun, not yeah. many photos taken, but... No, not many good, photo taken. Good, good, uh, good, to, good to shoot the breeze with everybody. Yeah, lots of banter and whatever, oh, yeah. so... That's the best part of photography is the banter. Yeah, you got you've got your own YouTube channel as well, haven't yes, you? Yes, I have. Do yep. uh, the odd vlog and lots of live streaming. Excellent. So check him out. I'll find his link and then put that in the the description. So check out what he does. If you like it, of course, do subscribe. Do subscribe to him. And for anybody that hasn't subscribed and you've liked what you've seen, uh, give me a. Be nice to have you aboard. There's lots coming up from myself over the next few weeks. So after the this I fly home tomorrow I'm in Berlin and I uh, might see one or two more well-known vloggers while I'm in Berlin names you would recognize such as maybe well I'm not gonna say but um, and then after that I'm in Mongolia next week to stay with some eagle hunters coming back and in the Outer Hebrides so there's lots and lots coming up and of course Japan again in April so till the next time hopefully you've enjoyed a little glimpse of uh, the landscape photography on YouTube UK group and um, do go along and check them out on Facebook until the next time take care and see you again soon and we're gonna get some cover from the rain I think yeah, we're gonna skip. <laughs> yep see you again soon thanks